Static meditation does not work for people that live in, you know, westernized society very well. In this day and age where there's just way too much information at our fingertips where I can, you know, just do a million and one things and think about a million and one things and everybody's trying to be the next you know, big thing, um, comparing themselves, all this drama and constant mental, um, diarrhea, as some people call it, um, just constant mental factory that's just running and running and you can't stop it, um, and as you get older, the stresses become more job, maybe you have children, maybe you have pets, maybe your parents, you know, get sick, there's all sorts of stuff, or they demand more of you, or you demand more of yourself, just your life starts getting more and more um, challenging, because uh, you know you have a limited time, and you want to make the best of it, but it's not... It's not as simple as that. So, you know, sitting in static meditation where you cross your legs or sit on a chair and meditate doesn't seem to work quite well in these situations. And this is something Osho used to talk about a lot, and I'm coming to, you know, really understand this. Yes, I do static meditation, um, but there's just, when I'm in a state of mind where I don't feel where I feel way too mentally cluttered, what I what I find helps me a lot, lot more um, before doing static meditation or just in replacement of static, static meditation, just to let go of the stress and mental energy and mental clutter, um, just to be able to let that go um, or, or loosen it. You know, just do some maintenance, some cleanup of that space that is within your mind, body, you know. And that is dynamic meditation. So there's many different forms of this. The one that I've been practicing, that I I started practicing recently and, and did today quite a bit and I feel much better after doing it is um is a as kind of a qigong shaking um so something dynamic meditation is basically um as as the term goes it's a dynamic process it's something that's more like out there you know um you kind of gotta shake the cobwebs out you know, sweep things up. So you're kind of focusing the energy into something, let's say like like for the practice that I was doing where you shake the body and you kind of shake, kind of like a kid would when they're like playing around, they're like, uh, 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 and you kind of, you know, just focus your breath as you shake in and out, nice and deep. And you kind of just let that shaking take control and almost like possess you, you you kind of try to let go of your mental ideas of what you're doing and just kind of get into a process, just get into this like movement and just let it take you, let it like go somewhere, get crazy with it, you know, kind of, kind of get a little crazy. Uh, And, and if you can kind of surrender to the process and just go a little crazy, start light, build it up kind of get to this like ah like really hard shaking uh, <laughs> um mode it it helps a, like break down and kind of just it helps you just get rid of that energy that's kind of stuck you know it's stuck and you're just shaking your whole body and you're like your emotions and stuff will come up and it'll like kind of pour out if, if that if that makes sense so it's it's a beautiful process and then you slowly dial it back down 
and uh, and you just kind of just I guess you can just stand there in a little bit of static meditation afterwards, which which is nice. Then you can feel the contrast between a, a high energy state where you're like shaking things up, and then the calm that you notice in contrast when you stop and you're like, holy crap, <laughs> you know, you're like, wow, that's what calm feels like, Jesus Christ, <laughs> so anyway, just wanted to share that little process with you, if that's something you're curious about, you know, just, you know, feel free to hit me up, and um, these are things that I'm very much interested in and love talking, talking about.